Creating a Docker image and running a container based on the image is a great way to streamline your development process and ensure consistency in your deployment environment. In this guide, I'll walk you through building a custom Docker image and running a container for an existing Python Flask website in VS Code in five steps. If you've been following along with my Docker series, you should have already installed Docker Desktop and VS Code. You should have also created a simple Python and Flask website and added your HTML, CSS, and JavaScript files. You can access my code for this project on GitHub and there's a link to the repo in the description. First, we need to create a Docker file for our existing Flask application. In the same directory as your Flask application, create a new file named Dockerfile and paste the following code. This is a Docker file for building a custom Docker image for a Python Flask application. Each line of code performs a specific action as follows. The from command specifies the official Python image as the base image for our custom Docker image. The workdir command sets the working directory inside the container to app. The copy command copies the contents of the current directory into the container at the app directory. The run command runs the pip install command to install the required Python packages defined in the requirements.txt file. The no cache dir flag tells pip not to store the downloaded packages in the cache directory. The env command sets the Flask app environment variable to appy, which is the name of the Flask application. And the command, command, specifies the command to run when the container starts, which is to start the Flask application using the Flask run command and listen on all network interfaces by specifying the host option. Next, we need to create a requirements.txt file that lists the Python packages that our Flask application depends on. In this case, we only need the Flask package, so create a new file named requirements.txt in the same directory as your Flask application and paste the following code, flask equals 2.2.2. That's the latest version of the Flask module. Next, we need to update our appy file to specify the ports we will use when we run the Docker container. These lines of code are used to start the Flask application in a local development environment or on a server. First, we need to import the OS module, which is part of the standard Python library. It lets the user interact with the native OS Python is currently running on. If name equals main, is a conditional statement that ensures the application is only run if the script is executed directly by the Python interpreter, rather than being imported as a module into another script. Port equals int retrieves the port number on which the application should listen from the port environment variable. The int function is used to convert the string value of port to an integer, and if the port variable is not set, the default value of 5000 is used. App run starts the Flask application. The debug parameter is set to true to enable debug mode, which provides detailed error messages during development. The host parameter is set to all zeros, which means the application will listen on all network interfaces. And finally, the port parameter is set to the value retrieved from the port environment variable or the default value of 5000, allowing the application to listen on the specified port. Overall, these lines of code enable you to start a Flask application on your local machine or server by running the script directly and specifying the port on which the application should listen by setting the port environment variable. With your Dockerfile requirements.txt and appy files in place, you're ready to build your custom Docker image. To do this, open up a terminal or command prompt, navigate to the directory that contains your Flask application and Dockerfile, 
and run the following command. This command tells Docker to build an image using the current directory and name it myFlaskImage. And finally, we can run the Docker container using the docker run command. In this example, the D flag means the container will run in detached mode. The P option maps the host machine's port 5000 to the container's port 5000. This allows the Flask application running inside of the container to be accessed from the host machine's web browser at localhost 5000. These arguments are followed by the name of the container. Once your container's running, you can navigate to localhost 5000 and you should see your website. By following these steps, you can build a custom Docker image for your Python Flask application and run a container in a consistent environment, allowing you to easily deploy your application to any system that supports Docker. If you're struggling with Docker errors, check out my Pluralsight course, Tactics and Tools for Troubleshooting Docker. This course provides developers with the skills they need to troubleshoot and fix the most common Docker errors. By the end of this course, you will have the skills that you need to reduce the time it takes you to assess and fix issues. Visit hofstech.com slash troubleshooting docker to get started with a free trial today. What questions do you have about Docker? Let me know in the comments and please be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video. Thanks for watching and have a great day.